Yo, welcome back everyone, this is Stu42 with another Minecraft how-to sort of video. Today I'm going to show you quickly how to use the extractor and get tungsten. So one of the things I've been trying to do is get towards the gas turbine uh, and it requires this tungsten or sintered tungsten ingots um, as they're called. Uh, let me just grab uh, my handy book. So under engines... The, the gas turbine here uh, in the compound turbine. Unfortunately, from the book, you can't get to NEI. So uh, here in Rotorycraft, if we go to the second page, this compound turbine requires four scented tungsten ingots. Now, they're a bit of a pain to get. You only get tungsten flakes as a byproduct of using the extractor. Uh, I think I've got... Yeah, I've only got two of them so far. Uh, those two of them I got from 30 iron ore blocks. So in the extractor, I had iron ore blocks, and about 30 iron ore blocks gave me something like 160 iron ingots. So it's it's almost a five, or just over a five times um, amount of ingots that you get from your ore, which is pretty good. So one of the problems with the extractor in early game is you just don't have enough power to run it. You don't have a gas turbine yet. You pretty much only have things like the gasoline engine available to you. Uh, so what do you do? Now, I've found that if you use a gasoline engine with a 16 to 1 gearbox, I have the, uh, the bevel gear going to the side and the bevel gear going up. You have to feed the extractor from the bottom. Also has a reservoir set to auto output because this thing needs water for the middle two stages. So let me just turn this on to full speed. Now at full speed, you'll see here we have enough power, more than enough power, which is good. Uh, we have more than enough speed for all the stages, but only stage two and three actually have enough torque. And you'll see stage two and three are going there. Uh, merrily on their way and the reservoir is dipping down every so often because those middle two stages are using them. Now what I found is if I shift right click this, so at the moment if I look at this gearbox it's in speed mode. Uh, if I shift right click with a screwdriver it slows down and we are now in torque mode. So in torque mode if we go back to the extractor you'll see we now have enough torque for everything but we've only got enough speed to run the first and fourth stages. So for early game to get this running, this is sort of what I found you need to do. Um, you can run it just off the gas engine. You don't need to keep changing gears around or anything. You literally just need the 16 to 1 gearbox. It does need to be steel. Uh, the, the stone gearbox just blows up straight away. Uh, and from the steel gearbox, you then uh, can run either 1 and 4 or stage 2 and 3. Now as you can see, this last stage is about to finish. And it should give us some, yeah, some iron ore flakes there. Now, every so often, you get a tungsten flake there. Now, the tungsten flake, smelting the tungsten flake is a whole nother story again. So, over here, what I've managed to get is I've managed to get this shaft junction, which is in merge mode, uh, between, if I get my angular transducer and click on this, you'll see there's the inputs. The two inputs are from these two micro turbines. The output goes to the 16 to 1 gearbox, which has to be set in torque mode uh, and it needs to be diamond so it's pretty expensive on diamonds uh, but the good thing with the diamond gearbox is once you put the lubricant in it the lubricant stays there forever uh, there's only one bucket I can break this and move it around and that one bucket of lubricant is, is always in there uh, and then I have a friction heater connected to just a standard furnace now this is the only way I've found for smelting uh, the tungsten flakes in this version so we are using uh, version 3D, I believe, for uh, Rotarycraft and the Dragon API. Uh, the literature, that you know, the, the docs say that if I run this in the nether with one of these, it should run hot enough. Uh, it seems that that maths is just broken at the moment for Rotarycraft. Uh, even though it's 300 degrees in the nether, that 300 degrees doesn't stack on top of the temperature. The most I can get this furnace to uh, using just a 16 to 1 and a micro turbine is uh, like 1278 degrees and it needs 1350 degrees so to get to 1350 degrees i found that it doesn't matter where you run it you just need you need two micro turbines uh the shaft junction 16 to 1 and into that so i've actually got these 
two engine control units, I've shift right clicked them with my screwdriver so that they're in redstone mode. Uh, for some reason it doesn't work with the lever down there so I've just put a bit of redstone down there in this lever. If I flick that lever now, both of these should now be going. Now it's starting to complain a bit because they slightly start up at different speeds but that's okay. They're going, that's running and now this is getting towards as you can see, 900, we're almost at 1,000 degrees already. Which is what you need. So 1,350 degrees is what we're aiming for. And then you can smelt stuff. And you can see that's fine there. So if I go back over to here and grab some of these iron ore flakes, just to show you how hot this is. So where are we? We're at 1130, 34. So it does get to 1350. But let's just throw this in here. Oh, it's not too bad. It's pretty fast. At 13.50, when I smelted the other two tungstens that I had, it was near instant. So, uh, it's pretty good. So, we are getting there. Now, this one is running 1.3. It takes a while for them to get up to speed. So, that's running 1.4 megawatts. And this one's running 1.4. So, we're nearly up to speed. So that's the slightly different speeds, which is why that's making that horrible noise for the moment. Uh, but this temperature will get up. It does take a while for them to spool up, and it will get to 1350. In fact, I think it gets a bit beyond 1350. Uh, so for beginning game, that is the only way i found to do it. Now, the other interesting bit with this is these micro turbines require this jet fuel. Now, jet fuel is the other thing that you're going to need. And if I grab my portable tank... You might have noticed over here, next to my extractor, I have this fractionation unit. Now the fractionation unit is what you use to make jet fuel, so... And that'll fill from there now, because I've got some fuel sitting in here. So as you can see, the fractionation unit needs a gas tier as uh, an ingredient there. It doesn't ever get consumed, but it does sit there as a catalyst. You also need blaze powder, you need tar sand, which is made from grinding up soul sand, uh, just some plain coal, the ethanol crystals, which in my previous video you would have seen how to make. You need some ground up netherrack, and you need some magma cream, which is basically blaze powder mixed with slimes. So you do need a, a supply of blazes for this. I I've been to the nether, there's a there's a blaze spawner, I know where it is, and every so often I just go and farm blaze rods and then grind them up for the blaze powder at the moment. Uh, later on I will set up a proper blaze farm and, you know, get something better happening with that. Uh, for now, just to get me going and get my first bits and pieces, uh, that's all I'm really, all I'm really wanting. And as you can see, we're just about to do our last one of those, and our last one of those, and then I'm going to switch it back to two and three. Uh, so I think that's all. This is pretty much uh, all I wanted to do today was, uh, there we go, 1434. It's stabilized at 1434, which is nice and hot. I'm going to turn this off now. That does make that horrible noise because these seem to spin up and slow down at different rates, which isn't so good. It makes a horrible noise, uh, but at least it does get me there. So once, we, once we've done this and we get up to getting a gas turbine, all of this sort of problem goes away. We, we can heat this up a lot easier um, you know potentially the the performance engine would get there I'm not entirely convinced though these things here are two megawatts each which is basically you know that's four megawatts I'm pouring into this just to get that that sort of temperature and like I said it doesn't appear to work in the nether the way I thought it would uh, so yeah that's uh, that's pretty much how to get tungsten and get going towards your gas turbine engine so hopefully next episode i will be able to show you a bit about the gas turbine and potentially get our rock break our bedrock breaker going uh, so uh yeah as always thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time